In today's video, we're going to be covering a profitable sports betting strategy that requires zero knowledge of the sport and zero knowledge of the players involved. The only thing you'll need is a little bit of mathematics, which I'll explain in this video. This type of betting is specifically for player props, which are bets that allow you to wager on a player's performance in a game and bet on whether one of their stats will be higher or lower than a set line. For example, you can bet on Tyrese Halliburton to score over or under 19.5 points, or Jared Allen to have over or under 10.5 rebounds. Even when the NBA season isn't on such as now, there's still other opportunities in other sports such as tennis or F1 racing. How prize picks works is essentially it's a player props parlay or multi where you combine multiple events to all happen and that's how you win the one bet. So let's take a look at prize picks and these other fantasy games. So first of all, what actually is a parlay? We're looking at FanDuel and I'll use this to demonstrate what a parlay is for those who don't know. I do have another video that you can look at over there, but essentially what a parlay is, is combine multiple things together to happen in the same bet. So. I could pick Medvedev to win his match against Kristovar, I could pick Holger Rune to win against Akaraz, and I can pick Sinner to win against Djokovic. Now you see the odds for these are all quite low, but if I combine them in a three leg parlay, the odds increase significantly. And that's because it's a lot harder to win, and therefore the odds they give me are higher, because for me to win this bet, let's see if I put $10, then I can win a lot more. I need Medvedev, Holger Rune, and Sinner to all win their bets. And you can pick whatever you want for normal parlays, but prize picks is a little bit different. So how prize picks works is when you bet on something, it generally gives you, let's say I want to bet on Daniel Medvedev's match, I can bet on over 39 games or under 39 games. So basically they put the number 39 as basically how many games that match is expected to last. Therefore, if I bet on more or less, it's roughly 50-50 chance and it's kind of like betting on a coin toss. So then if let's say if I bet on more for this case, I can combine it with other legs to form another kind of parlay. So if I bet on Carlos Alcaraz's match, I might choose to go with less than 37.5 games. And I can also add in Sabalenka's match to be, let's say, more than 22 games in total. Um, if it lands on 22, that is cancelled and it's just my other two legs. So as we can see, the payouts, these numbers here are changing. With the default, let's say, of $20, if I add more legs, so for example, if I add in the NBA, this person to score more than 33.5 points, then it increases how much I can win. Essentially how this works is each of these, you can think of it as kind of a 50-50 coin toss. It's like betting on heads or tails. I'm like doing betting on heads, tails, and heads for each of these outcomes, and I can win from $20, win $45. So is this profitable or not? So let's do the simplest case where we only have two legs. So let's remove Sabalenka and just focus on Daniel Medvedev and Carlos Alcaraz. If I go for more or less, or more and more, you see this number doesn't change. So with the two leg power play, what that means is if I bet $20, I will win $60. This number is a bit misleading as I'm not going to actually win $60. I'll get back $60. I only win $40 because $20 of that is how much I initially put in. If I bet $20 and get $60 back, then my profit is $40. So that's what it means by entry 20 and to win 60. So I basically triple my money if Daniel Medvedev's game is more than 39 games and Carlos Alcaraz's game is more than 37.5 games. So let's take a look at how I can calculate the expected value of this bet. Daniel Medvedev to win more, Carlos Alcaraz's match to also go over 37.5 games. So the expected value, assuming these are 50-50, because as we can see, if we pick the less, the odds don't change. It's always gonna be the same. We can pick whichever side. It's a 50-50 coin flip. So assuming these probabilities are 50%, then to work out how likely we're gonna win both, well, it's 50% times 50%. So we multiply these two together and that gives us 25%. Now that's how likely we're gonna win the bet. And in all the other cases, we're not gonna win the bet. So to lose the bet, we have a one minus 25% chance or 75% chance. And if we do win the bet, then we'll get $60 back from our initial $20, which means we get a positive profit of $40. If we don't win the bet, then we just lose our initial $20. And to calculate the expected value, it's this times that plus that times that. So we can do this by equals 25% times 40 plus 75% times 
negative 20. And that gives us negative $5 of expected value. And as a percentage of $20, that's negative 25%, which is pretty terrible. So that's the most basic case for two legs. If we were to add more legs, so for example, we add this, we add this, we can see now there's a flex option and a power play option. So if I select different ones, then there's different results that are possible. Power play is what's original. I just need to win all four of these, and that's the only way I win the bet, but I can make a lot of money. I can make $200, so 180 profit. If I pick the flex play, that's kind of like insurance. So if I win all four, well, I make less money, so I only make 100 instead of winning 200 if I get four correct. But now if I only win three correct, then I can still make 1.5x my money, so I'd get back $30. Um, whereas if I just picked the power play, if I won three out of four, then I would still just lose my $20. That's the difference. So this is a little less risky and this is a bit riskier. But is the expected value of these actually going to be worth it? Um, we can work that out as well. So let's have a look at the expected value calculations in Excel. So as we saw from price picks, there's multiple different payout structures for three legs, four legs, five legs, six legs, two legs, three legs, four legs. And there's the flex play option and there's also the power play option, which, which we just saw earlier. So basically for the two leg option, the odds are plus 200 three leg is plus 400, four leg is plus 900. For example, if we select three, if we go to the power play option, it's a plus 400 odds because we can make, put 100, we can make $400 profit. That's why it's plus 400. This one's plus 900. If we add one more, we can see you can make 900. And for the five leg parlay, then we need to do the flex play only. How can we work out the expected value for each of them? Well, let's go to the Excel and we can see that it gives us an implied probability, which is converting the odds to probability, the American odds to probability using this formula here. And that means we need to win the two leg parlay 33% of the time, the three leg 20% of the time, and the four leg to break even 10% of the time we need to win. So how does that translate to the break even win percentage that we need for each of the legs? So for example, in this one, how often do I need to win each of these four on average to break even? And the answer for that is to use this formula. So the implied probability percentage to the power of one over the number of legs. So for two legs, that gives us, we need to win 57.74%. Each leg needs to have a 57.74% chance of winning for us to break even. For the three leg, it's 58.4. For the four leg, it's 56.23. For the five leg, we don't have a number because we don't have the power play option. We only have the flex play option. And this one is over here and it's a little bit more harder to calculate, but we can still do that. So let's delete that for now. Basically what happens, let's say we bet $1. If we get all five correct, we'll make a profit or payoff. Payoff is $9. We put $1 in, get $10 back, that's a $9 profit. If we get four correct, then we get two times our money, so we get $1 of profit. If we get three correct, we get 40% of our money back, so we lose 60 cents. And if we get zero, one, or two correct, then we just lose the $1. So we can work out the break even percentage if we can play around with the probability wins. And these are using this cell as the input. So if we say it's 56%, then we actually aren't breaking even. We're getting a positive expected value of 12%. If this was 53%, then we're losing 8%. So how can we work this out um, mathematically? The first thing we can use is solver. So we can go to data, solver, and we want to set the objective is this cell here to the value of zero by changing this cell here. And that gives us a solver solution of 54.25%. We can make this the same. We can use this to calculate the other ones as well for the flex play option for the four, three, and two legs. Thanks to Mining the Data YouTube channel, they've actually worked out using code and plotted everything. So if you look at this graph, we can see that if the probability we win each leg is 50%, we're going to be losing EV quite high, like 20 to 30% of expected value. But we start to break even if we can hit 54.25% of the time for the five pick and six pick. That's when our EV is zero. And any probability that's higher than that, then our EV is becomes positive. So let's say at this point here, if our probability of winning each leg is 56%, then we're getting about nearly 18% in EV or 12% in EV for the five pick and six leg options. And we can also play around with this number. So if we set this to 56%, we can see our expected value is 12%. And that just goes to show the five pick and the six pick option are the best for us as it requires the lowest break even percentage uh, for each leg to win. That's the best way to optimize this 
prize pick strategy. Similarly for underdog fantasy, we can see for the two pick option, the odds aren't that good and the four pick option, the odds aren't that good because it requires a higher break even percentage win of 57 and 56%, whereas for the three pick and five pick, they're somewhat better. As the odds are better, we can see we only need a 55 or 54.9% for chance of each leg winning for us to break even. And obviously the higher than that, then our expected value will come positive. So for underdog, it turns out the three pick or the five pick bets are the best. And it means we need to pick bets that have a 55% or higher chance of winning for us to be profitable and have positive expected value in the long run. And for prize picks, we would need 54.25% minimum. So we will need to pick legs where the chance of it winning is greater than 54.25% and can bind them into a five or six leg parlay for us to be profitable in the long run and have positive expected value. So now that we know the win percentage we need for each pick, let's see how we can find opportunities where the chance of winning is greater than that magical number of 54.25%. To do this efficiently and practically, we can use software specifically built for this purpose, such as today's sponsor Odds Jam. Odds Jam has the latest odds data across many sports books across the United States and Canada and scrapes these odds and combines them together to determine the fair probability of each prize picks bet winning. The tool we want to use specifically is their fantasy optimizer tool and let's take a look into it now. So let's go to the Odds Jam fantasy optimizer. So we go to Odds Jam and we can go to fantasy and we can click on the fantasy optimizer tool. So here the default is prize picks, but they also have opportunities for underdog fantasy or all these other sports books up here like Parlay Play, Boom Fantasy, Fliff, etc. But let's stick with prize picks as the example we're gonna to use today. And you can filter for certain sports as well. So if you're not a fan of, let's say eSports, you can remove that and it will filter for the other sports selected. So like basketball, baseball, tennis, and the MMA. And you can also filter for stuff like leagues and stuff like that. And the good thing about Odds Jam is it spits out a percentage chance to hit. So how likely you are to win each bet in this column here. And how it works that out is it collects data or the odds from over 190 different sports books. In this case, you can see there's like FanDuel odds, DraftKings odds, Caesars, BetMGM, and Underdog Fantasy collected, and it spits out what the fair odds it thinks should be. So it's not entirely accurate. There's a bit of give or take, like it's obviously not gonna be the fair odds exactly, but it's a good estimate um, based on the odds from other sports books they factor that in. So here, all the good opportunities are in green. Um, we want to pick the ones that our highest chance to hit, obviously, to combine into our six leg parlay for price weeks, or we can choose five leg as well, and these are all still good opportunities. If we remove esports, we can see there's less opportunities that are good, but there's still four that are good. And this one's also okay because we need 54.25, but as long as most of these are over 54.25, then we can combine these five into a parlay for the five leg flex, and that would be a profitable bet. So now it's the off season, so we can see there's baseball, basketball, but the NBA season isn't actually on, and you do get a lot more opportunities if it was the regular NBA season and the NFL season, and there'd be a lot more opportunities popping up. Even now there's a few, like four, you can still make a parlay out of it. Same as Underdog Fantasy, there's plenty of opportunities here. Yes, granted most are in the esports category, but you can still make some profitable bets that way. So essentially what we want to do is to find which one has the highest odds jam algo odds or the lowest odds actually and combine those into a six leg or five leg parlay for our prize picks flex. So to actually go ahead and test the odds jam algo odds and the accuracy of the percentage chance to hit, I enlisted the help of the YouTube channel Minding the Data and using the odds jam API to check hundreds of odds and opportunities across all the fantasy sports books such as prize picks, underdog fantasy, and NHA. This would automatically pick up on any positive expected value pick that I define as having a 54.25 or greater chance of winning. And it would get recorded into a database. When we filtered for opportunities that weren't 54.25%, but rather 55% or higher, then we can see there were 404 bets that were recorded across prize picks and underdog fantasy. And this time when we combine them into six legs and five legs here with the results. On average, 
The predicted expected win percentage was 56.26% and we won 54.84% of those. So it's slightly higher than before. That was 54.5 and it's higher than our break even of 54.25. And as we can see this time, for the six legs, we would have made 67 bets and we returned 122.4 units, um, which gives us a net result of 82.69% profit, which is very, very high. It is positive expected value as are all these bets, but as we can see, there's a lot of variance. Sometimes you'll lose a little bit or in this case, you might make a lot more than you expected to make. And we can see for the five leg one, we would bet 80 and return 80.4. So we make a slight profit of 0.5% if we combine them into five legs. So assuming we bet $20 on each one, we would have made 67 times 20 times 82.67%, which would have been $1,108 in profit. So this is overall a profitable strategy, but as we can see, there is a lot of variance and risk involved. And I generally would recommend that you filter for a percentage that has higher than the expected 54.25%, as there's probably a slight error in how how the expected win percentage is calculated. I'll probably filter for 55% or 55.5%, something like that. So that's how to make money with fantasy sports books such as Underdog Fantasy and Prize Fix using mathematics. If you'd like to try Odds Jam for yourself, you can get an extended two week free trial by one using the link in the description below and entering the code SHANE2 to get two weeks free trial of Odds Jam. If you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, then make sure to give it a big like down below and subscribe to this channel to not miss out on my my other sports betting and money making tips. As always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.